Happy Wednesday, everyone. Uh, it's been a little while since we did a video update. We've been really heads down, just focusing on dealing with all of the things that come along with throwing something like Maslow 4 out into the world. Um, but it feels like we're making great progress, largely thanks to incredible people in the forums. Uh, and we're starting to get things a little bit under control. Um, first order of business is the shipping schedule. Uh, we've shipped all of the Insider Edition kits, batch one and batch two, and we're working on batch three, which is the final batch of Kickstarter kits right now. Um, we are unfortunately about to run out of PCBs, at which point we will just go back to packing kits with everything except the PCBs, so as soon as those arrive, we can put them in the box and ship them out. Uh, and so that'll be the second half of batch three, and then also um, orders through our website. Uh, we're really sorry about the delay on those. Um, the backstory there is that we had an issue. So we have a primary and backup supplier for pretty much everything. And on those PCBs, we had an issue with our, our primary supplier. We went to our back, a quality control issue. And then we went to our backup supplier. We also had a quality control issue with our backup supplier. And that was just in the first batch that we got from them. We got it fixed in the second batch. Um, but it was a big enough concern that I didn't feel comfortable ordering all of the boards from them until we'd gotten our first large batch and were able to quality control test every board in that batch. Um, and it turned out they were okay. It was great. But I didn't want to risk it because if we'd bought all of them, uh, basically we couldn't afford to get it wrong. So if we bought them all and then they were all bad or some significant percentage of them were bad, um, we just couldn't afford to lose that much money. Uh, so we waited to test them all. They were good. We've got the next ones. They're in production. Um, we had to order all the parts, get the parts to like the individual components, get the components delivered to the manufacturer. Uh, that's all done. The boards themselves are made. They just have to place the components on the boards and send them to us, and we'll test them and put them in the boxes. Um, I'd like to say that'll happen next week, but realistically, it'll probably not be this coming week, but the week after that we get those and we can ship everything out. And of course, we'll keep you posted with that process. While Anna's been hard at work uh, getting the things done that need to be done to ship kits out, uh, I've been hard at work on the software side getting everyone up and running. This week it feels like we're getting really close to having the biggest bugs found and squished. The biggest change in this week's weekly firmware update is that we're ready to release the big calibration update that we've been working on. Uh, so basically that got its entirely own video of a walkthrough of the calibration process. Uh, but the sort of short version is the way the system works now is it starts out at the center of the sheet and it sort of does a spiral out. And with each spiral, it uh, recalculates where the anchor points are. And by doing that, we get two benefits. One, we can keep the belts tight more of the time, which reduces the chances of them getting tangled. And two, it um, allows the math to find, um, basically with each, with each recalculation, we get more and more precise um, measurements of the anchor points. So it's a, a double win with that. Um, there's still lots of room for improvement. We're still gonna keep doing weekly firmware updates and uh, making things better, getting your feedback. Um, yeah, but it feels like this week's uh, update is definitely worth updating too. And with the progress on the firmware, we're starting to see some more people getting their machines out of the box, assembled, and up and running. Uh, this week, we saw Dean Huff do an excellent logo test cut, followed immediately by the same from Marcus Wren. Uh, and my favorite project this week was Sylvian Dorius, who used his Maslow 4 to make a dust collector um, adapter for his vacuum, rather than 3D printing one, which is the normal approach, uh, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. We're trying to get back into building more things ourselves because that is really the only way to truly test the whole system. Uh, so I made this planter box as a gift. Uh, to mix it up, I did most of it by using a template cut on Maslow 4 and then a palm router. Uh, the theory was that I would save time by not having to align each board on the CNC. Uh, I'm not sure if that really panned out to be a benefit, but it was a fun experiment. Uh, here's some footage of cutting those parts. I did end up uh, putting at least one board directly on the CNC to do some engraving on it, because uh, that would have been really tough to do with the template.
have a great week, everyone, and we will see you in the forums.